Hey guys, Jeff the Chief Self up here with another What Sold video. Now this is what we sold this weekend. Basically, what we sold Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully this video will go out on Monday. We did a little bit better than we did the past week. Actually didn't film a video last week, I just wasn't feeling the greatest and I was kind of busy, so. Oh well, we didn't do one. But we last week we sold about four items over the weekend. It wasn't the best. Because recently, during the summer, I've actually been selling better on the weekdays versus weekends. Just, I don't have time to film then or anything like that. I'm hoping to get you guys some stuff that's not just what sold videos here soon, but again, <laughs> time. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six going on in eBay, one going on Amazon FBM, and another one that's kind of interesting. So let's start with Amazon, then we'll get into it. On Amazon, we sold the Great Courses Plus Religion of the, the Axel Age, A-X-I-A-L, not sure if I'm saying that right, an approach to the world's religions. Let's go grab it. I only have one of those Great Course Plus videos left. Quite actually, a little over a year ago is when I picked all of them up in a big buy at one of my local thrift stores. Yeah. Well, she sold for eighteen twenty-four. Not too shabby, and I paid a dollar for it. So that's everything we sold to Amazon FBM. Now we are also sell on Amazon FBA. Don't talk about that stuff. It's kind of higher volume, kind of boring stuff for the most part. That's where I sell most of my goods, and it's where I make most of my money, and that's my preferred method to sell. But I will admit, selling on Amazon FBA is not as fun. No. So, now let's talk about eBay. Did halfway decent on eBay. I did take a couple offers on a few things, this very first one was an offer. I honestly probably took lower than I should have for it, but I wanted to get it moving. Just get it out there. We saw the Vigos Marley Super Skinny Women's Size 30 by 29 Jeans for $24. That's why I probably should take more. Those should have been probably closer to the 30, but we got 24 for them. They're in 23 May 1603. And if you're new here and don't know my SKU system, it's a date based SKU goes the year it was listed, so list this in 2023. The month it was listed, this one's listed in May, 16, on the 16th of May, 03. That was the third item I listed that day. So let's go find it. 23 May, 16. It's gonna be this one, because this one starts with 12, that one starts with 20. 1603. Sixteen oh five, sixteen oh three. Actually, I think this is why I actually took the, that lower offer because these ones are light enough to go first class. So it'll save me a few bucks. They're already pre prepackaged up. I'm gonna throw a uh, photo up of them up for you. There you go. If I got sells, okay. If you can get for cheap, my buy cost now I believe it was two dollars. Alright, next going out, I have a DVD, a Kit Kidridge American Girl DVD. I have those right here. That one sold for $8. By cost was $1. Not the greatest in those. I bought like a ton of those a while ago. Sent them into Amazon. They were selling pretty well. I was actually profiting about $13 a piece. So I actually found, what was it? Probably like a whole, I think it was a whole case of them. I don't know how it showed up. The whole case of them was at at the thrift store. I bought every single one. And Amazon was doing great. Then suddenly Amazon came in the listing selling them for dirt cheap. And 
there goes that listing. Still profit overall in the whole thing. This one here will make about a buck or two. Not the greatest, but at this point we're just trying to get rid of them. All right, next we have going out silver jeans, Tuesday jeans, size 32 by 33 distressed light wash. So for $35. 23 April 2702. So somewhat recent. 23 April 27. Here's 25. Let's gotta be in this one. 2702. I could probably combine my April bins. Maybe. Getting pretty close. They're also pre-packaged ready to go, so I'll throw a photo of them up. Now, silver jeans, not that long ago, I swear, if I had any pair of silver jeans, I was getting 60 bucks or more for like all of them. But it seems like the prices on them have come down. I don't know if people are just tanking the prices or if the demand for them has just not, you know, maintained what it was. But it seems like silver jeans used to be gold not too long ago, long ago but now they're just, they're still decent. They're still worth picking up. By cost knows it's probably two dollars. So definitely worth it. Between two and five. I'm not sure which lot I bought this one in. Either I bought it on clearance at a thrift store for two bucks or I bought a garage sale for five. I don't remember. One of those two. But either way, we turn a profit. Alright, next one going out. We sold another one of those Faraday Bells. Yeah. It seems I sell every once in a while. Only bought one. Seems like recently that's been the, the trend. For the first like 400 of them, I always sold multiples. Recently, it's almost always been singles. Now it's sold for $12.74. By cost now, it's probably about a nickel. Because it was a huge big lot I bought. Next going out, we have a Chicago Fire MLS, which I think is Major League Soccer, I think. Not multiple launch system. That's what my brain thinks. Logo, go, go, car, truck, vehicle, front, grill, mount. Sold for $9. Let me go grab it. Got them right here. Got a whole lot of these things in a huge lot. Of, like back to school and school and college and other sports related stuff. Here it is. Wasn't the Hasn't been the best stuff in the world, but it does sell, it does move out. That sold for nine dollars by cost, probably five cents. All right, next we have going out a Canon Palm Printer P1-HDV. That is in 22 June 0904. So 22 June. There's June. I must be up here. June 0904. I see it right here. Alright, so this one is all boxed up ready to go, so I will throw a photo of it. And we sold that one for $15. Not the greatest. Took an offer on that one, but I've had it listed for over a year or so. I got an offer. I took it. It's kind of how I do it. By cost of that one, no idea. Usually I get those for around three three bucks or something like that. Probably a thrift store. That is everything we sold on eBay. Now, just before I filmed this, we almost had our very first sale with cross listing on Mercari. So I went and sent an offer. It was a little bit lower than I wanted to, to get only about a buck or two, so I still accepted it just to try to get that ball rolling. And their payment failed, so we didn't end up closing the sale. I'm not really that familiar with Macari. Maybe they'll update their payment and they'll go through. I'm not sure. Now, was the first thing of everything we've cross-listed to Macari and Poshmark that has ever even came close to being sold. So I guess that's something. I mean, I don't. Some of you guys sell on there all the time. To me, so far, it's 
honestly felt like a waste of time and money compared to Amazon and then eBay, but I'm giving it a shot. I said I would give it a shot till the end of the year. Yeah, it's the pain in the butt. I'm not liking doing it, but I am doing it the end of the year. And we almost sold one thing on there for less money than we wanted to. But, anywho. And yeah, I'm doing the same total cost of buyer. I'm just like my model on eBay. Doing it the same way. And things don't sell over there. So I don't know what the secret is. So you guys tell me. What's the secret to Poshmark and Mercari? Because I don't seem to be able to sell crap on them. And I've tried to sell on them in the past. And I had the same experience. But I'm trying to cross listing. Hopefully it'll pick up. But well, who knows? A few more months of this, and I'll probably call. I'll, if I don't sell anything in another month or two, I'm gonna call it quits again. All right. So how your guys' sales been doing? Hopefully they've been doing pretty good. Hopefully you guys have been making some money, getting some listings up. That's the only thing I'm not been doing much on eBay. I haven't been making enough listings. It's been frustrating for time. I just seem like I don't have it, or I'm tired. So, we haven't been doing much listing on eBay. But we're still getting decent sales. Because you, know, you get out of what you put into it, but, you know, if you have put in the work in the past, it can carry over, like, and you go through a little bump, bump in the road like this where you're not listing as much as you should. But still, it's probably best to keep on listing. So, guys, I always say, guy, keep on listing, keep on selling. You have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.